Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this video is the second video for the Windows Server Home Lab series. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be discussing and doing the group policy management. And there are two parts for this video. First part is creating and setting up GPOs. And the second part is implement and test those GPOs we created. Okay, so before we get started and proceed with creating GPOs, make sure that you have these prerequisites installed first so make sure that you have a windows server installed with active directory tools and also gpmc tool installed because that's what we're gonna need to create the gpos if you don't have any of these installations yet i have a video that covers how to install windows server on a vm and installing active directory tools Okay, so just a refresher before we move on to doing labs. So we usually use the term GPO at work and it stands for Group Policy Object. So GPO is a collection of policies in Active Directory that can be applied to domains and OUs. So GPOs are used by admins to manage settings that are applied in users and computers. Okay, so if you don't have the GPMC or Group policy management console on your windows server i'm going to show you how to install it and if you already have it you can skip to the next part where we create the gpos okay so if you don't have it go to your server manager and then go to manage and add roles and features so just click on next and select role based next and then select your server and then click on active directory domain services and click on next and you should select the group policy management in here if that wasn't checked yet so that's how you select it and then just go through the install and it should be installed okay so now let's get started and go to your vm and if you type in search if you type in group policy management in the search you will find the app if you have installed the active directory tools on your windows server so just going back to the programs you will see windows admin tools in here and this is where you can find all of the admin tools in here and group policy management is included in that so this is gpmc group policy management console and it's a centralized system where you can manage all of the group policy settings and all of the assets or objects within your domain okay so let us navigate gpmc in here and see what is under it so you can check your domain here under your forest and you will see the domain that you have created here for your active directory domain controller and you will see the other ous that you have created previously like i have the asia europe and usa in here and that's where you can put all of your group policies later on for different ous as well just like group policies for user computer and such okay so i am just gonna open like a, an example of a domain in here so we have a default policy in here i'm just gonna right click and show you how to open up the editor so you can edit gpos later so if you right click on it you can see edit and when you click on that you will see the group policy management editor so this is where we create different policies for our domain okay so as you can see here there's a computer configuration and a user configuration so these are the different types of configuration for the policies that you want to create so there is a difference on these two you can't just create like whatever policy you want it also depends on what you need to do and how you want to apply the configuration or the policy okay so i'm gonna explain the difference in i'm gonna explain the difference between computer and user configuration so that you will know what gpos you want to create but if you already know all of that and you just want to skip to the lab and examples and hands-on activity you can do so and just skip on the explanation okay so here's the explanation of the different types of group policy settings so as i mentioned earlier there's two there is the computer configuration and the user configuration so let's talk about the computer configuration first so it means that you can apply to the local computer and do not change per user so this is only limited to the settings that you want to do on the computer itself and not the users who are logging into the computer now for the user configuration it applies 
to the users on a local machine and will apply to any new users in the future on this local computer so it's kind of a like a self-explanatory in a way that user configuration only applies to users computer configuration only applies to the computers okay so if you're still confused about the difference let me show you like a visualization on how it is applied on active directory users and computers so for example you have all of this ou and objects such as users and computers so to simply explain it the computer configuration is only applied to the computer assets under your computer just like here so if you want to create settings or policies for all of your computers you will use computer configuration under here computer configuration this is where you are going to create a gpo if you want to apply the policy to computers but if you want to apply policies to your users like the people working in your company you are going to use the user configuration gpo to create it. okay so now we know the difference between the user configuration and computer configuration now if we check under those configuration they also have different settings under them which are the policies and preferences so if we expand this there should be like more options or settings available and sometimes if you're learning this it is hard to choose which one you need to create because there's a lot of different settings so there's also a difference between policies and preferences on which one you should choose when creating a gpo Okay, so there are also different types of group policy settings under computer and user configuration. So we have the policies and preference. So what is the difference between the two of them and which should we choose? So policies can't be changed by users. So these are enforced by Active Directory. So policies restrict the user choices and can only be enforced by admin. So here are examples to better explain what policies are. So password policies and account lockout policies are examples of policies because once they are enforced, the user can change the policies. For example, the user cannot change how many characters would be the minimum for the password. Only the admin can do that and so also the same for account lockout so the user can't decide how many times they can be locked out from their accounts only the admin can enforce that so those are examples of policies that can never be changed by the users okay so next would be the preferences and this one is the opposite it can be changed by the users these are settings that we can set by default but users can also be able to modify and change whatever the settings are for example the users can have like a default map network drives but they can also add network drives if they choose to also examples are ter setups and desktop short shortcut setups so by default or whenever they log in we can set up like a default for the users on their desktop shortcuts but later on the user can change their desktop shortcuts they can add desktop shortcuts if they want to they can also add more printers if they want to apart from the settings that they already have so that's the main difference between policies and preference okay so i hope that you have understood what the differences between the different configuration and type of settings there are in group policies so it'll be easier for us to create them later on in the hands-on activities so for our activities we are gonna have five different gpos that we are gonna create so these are really basic gpos just to get started on how to create them if you're gonna be working in an enterprise or a business there will be more complex gpos that you will be creating or more so much more advanced gpos but for now we're gonna stick with the basics so that you will have good foundation on how to create gpo and the best way and best practices in implementing them and creating them for the first activity we are gonna set up a password policy gpo and this is setting up a password policy to enforce strong passwords and enhance security Okay, so go to your GPMC, Group Policy Management, open it and right click on your domain. For example, this eCharmer.local and click on create a GPO in this domain. So we are going to name this the password policy. Just also be straightforward to the name of your GPO. It should tell you what it does. 
Okay, so you can see that it was created in here. So now we are going to have to set it up and edit it. So let's right click on this password policy and click on edit. It should show you the group policy management editor here that we talked about earlier. So this is where we can set up and configure our policies. Okay, so just a review before we create the settings for this policy so which configuration do you think we should use for the password policy is it computer configuration or user configuration so it should be under computer configuration because it's the computer that is asking for the password when you are logging in so just think of that which one is using the configuration is it the computer or the user so in this case it is the computer so we are going to select which one we are going to use is it policies or preferences based on our discussion earlier so it is the policies because as we discussed earlier this policy should never be altered or changed by the user it should be enforced by admin because we don't want users to be messing up with the password length or the complexity it should be default and consistent to all of the policy and the user can never change it and should never change it so let's select on policies windows settings because it is going to be used under windows and then security settings because password is of course a security settings and let's select the account policies in here so this is where you can find all of the password policy as you can see it's listed below here so when you click on password policy you should see the different settings here that we can set up for our gpo so we are going to change the password length minimum password length the complexity requirements and the password age okay so let's get started with the length first if you click on this you can just change it so let's define let's click on define this policy setting so for example you just want 12 character 12 characters okay minimum you want to set that up for your organization just click on apply and as you can see it has now changed to whatever setting that you wanted so next let's click on the complexity okay so check on this to enable this password complexity so it just means that you're following the complexity requirements by windows which is all of this in here so this is going to be a default to every computer that is assigned this group policy so we can click on apply and okay and we can change the maximum password agent here to how many days you want the password to expire for example you want uh, your company to change the passwords every quarter so that is 90 days okay and then it's just gonna tell you what the minimum password would be and it will also change into that because currently the minimum password is not defined okay so when you click on apply as you can see in here the minimum password age will be changed in here so that is how to set up your first policy and we have set up our password policy now so if you go to edit in here you will see the changes to the password policies okay so we are done with our first policy later on we can apply them and implement them to an ou or a group of objects but for now we are going to be focusing on creating and setting up gpos first for our next gpo we are going to do a drive mapping gpo and this maps network drives for users when they log in Okay, so let's create a GPO first. Let's right click on your domain and then create a GPO and then let's name it Drive Mapping. And when you right click on it, just click on edit. And what do you think should we choose to create or set up this GPO? Is it computer or user configuration for drive mapping? okay so if you answered user configuration that's correct so because the user is the one who will be using this policy this is where we should apply it or create it okay so which one should we choose policies or preferences okay it should be preferences because the user can later on modify or alter this gpo they can add drive maps later on so it's not really just restricted to the drive maps that they have so we should choose preferences for this gpo okay so let's 
expand the preferences in here and then expand window settings and you should see so it's pretty straightforward which one should we choose so drive maps in here because we're mapping map drives and then just right click on this drive maps and new map drive and then you can just put the the path of the network share for example server name and the folder just for example and choose the drive letter to be consistent here click on use and use like for example e drive for the server name or folder and then just click on apply in here and you can see here that this was added the next gpo is the desktop wallpaper policy and this sets a default desktop wallpaper for all users okay so you probably know the drill by now so let's click on right click on your domain create a gpo in here and let's name it desktop wallpaper okay and then if you right click on this click on edit and which do you think should be used computer configuration or user configuration okay so we are gonna be using the user configuration because we want to apply this gpo whenever the user login so do we use policies or preferences for this okay so for the desktop wallpaper policy we should be using policies because we don't want the user changing the desktop wallpaper so this should be enforced by admin and cannot be changed by user okay so let's expand the policies in here let's go to administrative templates in here because this is where you can see the desktop items so expand the desktop and if you click on the desktop here you should see different settings here like desktop wallpaper so since we are doing just a very simple desktop wallpaper policy in here, let's click on this and let's click on enable because we want to enable the wallpaper, just a consistent wallpaper that we have. So you can, you can put the path on the wallpaper in here and there's an example in here on how you can use a path and you should know where the wallpaper is saved. Okay, so just select what style you want usually we do or fail usually or centered it depends on the design of your picture but usually it's fail and then just click on apply in here next would be restrict access to control panel gpo and this prevent users from accessing the control panel okay so let's so let's create the gpo right click on your domain create a gpo let's name it restrict control panel you should name it on what it does so it's very straightforward okay so let us edit this let's click on right click and then edit okay so do you think it's gonna be a computer configuration or user configuration okay so it is user configuration because it is the user that will be using this configuration and it will be applied to them so do you think it's the policies or preferences that we should choose okay so you're right if you answered policies because we don't want the user to be changing this this should be enforced that control panel is restricted so no one should be able to change the restriction and policies is what we should use for this so just expand policies and look for administrative templates in here and then it's just under control panel very straightforward so under this if you click on this there's like many settings here okay so if you don't want to restrict control panel for example items on control panel for example you can click on this if you just want to hide other stuff that you think will cause major issues if they mess up with if it's okay to you to give the user's access to control panel but just limit it so we are gonna prohibit the access to control panel entirely just for this example so this is what we're gonna choose and click on that and just click on enabled in here and apply so every user that is under this gpo should have should have control panel restricted now and you will see in this state in here if it was enabled so that's for our fourth example and last for our activity for this video is to disable usb storage so this prevents users from using usb storage devices okay so let's create the gpo so let's right click on our domain and then create a gpo let's name it disable 
USB devices in here and it's here now and let's right click on it and edit so is it for computer configuration or user configuration okay so it's con computer configuration because we are applying it directly on the computer so it is a setting for the computer instead of the user so is it policies or preferences okay so since we want this in the force and can't be changed by the user we are really strict on this we are going to use policies in here so let's expand policies and go to admin administrative templates in here and let's go to system and expand the system so there are many settings in here so let us find removable storage devices okay there are many options in here of course they're very explicit on what you want to do there's like option for cd floppy drives from way back so we want to do all removable storage classes because we just want to restrict every type of storage device that they can possibly plug into your computer so let's click on this then i all access and just click on enable and apply okay so that's just enabling oh this yeah enabling the deny of all access for the removable storage Okay, so if you want to create more GPOs, I have a bonus activity for you to create an account lockout policy which configures account lockout settings to prevent brute force attacks. So this one, you can figure it out by yourself on how to do this. This is a bonus one that's more of a challenge for you to create this on your own. So if you do have any questions regarding this, please let me know in the comment section below so I can help you out with this one but this one you can try and see if you can figure it out okay so that would be it for today's video those are our activities so far and for the next video we are going to be testing our gpos if they are working that we are going to be implementing them on different client machines and we're going to use another vm if you don't have any like physical computer that you can connect to the domain so we can create client machines through vms to test and implement our GPOs and see if they are working. So I hope that you learned something from this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you're interested in testing and implementing GPOs, please stay tuned for the next video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.